Hello you guys, so this was a key position of the game. Here Magnus Carlsen has a white pieces and Alexander Grischuk has a black pieces here. So here Magnus Carlsen has played rook to e7. Now black has a winning advantage here but there is only one move that grants you a win. Here Grischuk has to play king to f8. But he misses a move and plays rook to d2. Now after rook to d2 the play was completely even. Let's see why king f8 was winning. Now your rook is under attack. Now you can move it anywhere on the 7th rank or you can move it on either of these 3 squares here. Now if you move the rook to any of these 3 squares you are losing by the same tactics here. Let's say if you play rook to e5 just rook takes f1, queen takes f1 and knight to f3 check because the queen is pinned. Now king to g2 defending the queen just rook takes queen king takes and you are a full piece up. Similarly for rook e4 the same tactics here rook takes f1 queen takes f1 knight to f3 check king to g2 rook takes f1 king takes but here there is knight to d2 check and again you are a full piece up and rook e3 also loses to rook takes f1 here. So let's talk about what will happen if you move the rook to anywhere on the 7th rank here. If you move the rook anywhere of the 7th rank, you are losing your queen or a big material here. Now with rook d2, the queen is trapped. It has 3 squares to go and anywhere it go, it is going to be taken. Let's say if it goes to h4, just knight fork here and you're losing it. Similarly, if you go to g3 here, again a knight fork because bishop is pinned here. And if you try to go to e3 here, just a discovery rook check and you are again losing it. Now actual game carries on with queen to e3, knight to e2 check, king g2, knight to f4 check, king to g3, knight to e6, rook to e8, knight to g7. Now Magnus can actually draw the game by exchanging the rook for knight and a pawn here. But he just go for the win because he just wanted a win here and plays queen to e5 which was actually a blunder here and the Grishuk played knight to g7. With knight e8, now your two pieces are attacked, the rook on e8 and the bishop on f1 here. And you can save one of them. So here Magnus plays bishop g2 here. Now knight takes the rook and queen takes the knight here and the game goes on for the few moves here. Queen to c7 check, king to h3, king to g7, queen to e3, queen to d6, b6, queen to b2, queen to c3 check, queen to f6, queen takes f6, king takes f6 f4, rook to b6, bishop to d5, rook to d6, g5 check, king to f5, bishop takes f5, king takes f4, king to h4. After king f5, the magnet resign and the clap for the opponent. So if you like the video, do like and subscribe the channel and stay tuned for the more updates.